Good morning, free IB. How are you? This chair is shaking a little bit. Okay, so I um, welcome back to pre IB class. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and were able to rest a little bit. I would like, before we get started, I would like you to write down these notes in your factoring strategies notebook or with the other notes. Remember, we're going to go through four strategies for factoring. Today we're going to do number three. The first one was GCF. The next one was X and X, which you just turned in today. And today we're going to talk about AC wall. It's a little bit more complicated, a lot more steps. But I think once you get the hang of it and practice it enough, it's going to be pretty easy. So I'm going to step back for a minute for you to pause your video and write down these notes. Okay, hopefully you were able to do all that. Um, today, oh, I wanted to get another color. I guess I don't have another color. Oh. All right, well, well, we'll do it in black. It'll be fine. Um, so today we're doing AC wall. And remember the difference. How you determine which strategy you use is you always, always, always check for GCF. If there's a greatest common factor, do that. Um, and then after that, if there's not, you can look for between x and x and ac wall. If it's written in the form ax squared plus cx plus c and a equals 1, the leading coefficient is 1, you're going to use x and x. But if it's not 1, you're going to use ac wall. So let me give you an example of one that is not 6x squared minus 13x minus 5. So if you had to factor that, GCF. There's no GCF. Okay, between these two, AX squared plus BX plus C, A is 6. A is not 1. So we're going to have to do AC wall. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to determine AC. The first part of AC wall is AC. A, remember, and C. A is 6. C is negative 5. What is AC? AC equals 6 times negative 5, which is negative 30. Easy enough, right? Now I'm going to write down all the factors of AC. Now, all right, negative 1, 30, 1, negative 30, negative 2, 15, 2, negative 15, negative 3, 10, 3, negative 10, 4, 5, negative 5, 6, and 5, negative 6. That's a lot. And I promise you, the, the more you do this, the more it, you won't. The fewer steps you're going to have to do. I'm just showing you all the steps, and then eventually you'll be able to think in your mind which are the factors I need to use. But this is this is the way to do it for now. Right? Okay. Determine AC. Get rid of the factors. AC. Add each set of factors. Okay. 29, negative 29. Uh, this is positive 13, negative 13. 7, negative 7, 1, negative 1. Okay. Did that. Circle the sum of the factors that equal B. Oh, what's B? B is negative 13. So here it is negative 13. So I'm going to circle 2 and negative 15. Those are going to be my key numbers for setting up this problem. Rewrite. This is the part that's confusing. It's hard to explain, but it's easy to do. Rewrite the expression using these two numbers, 2 and negative 15, as coefficients instead of B. So basically, you're going to break down B into these coefficients. So I'm going to rewrite it. 6x squared. And instead of writing negative 13, I'm going to write plus 2x minus 15x minus 5. You will see that this expression is the same as this expression. If I collect it like terms, I have negative 13x. But I'm expanding it. And you'll see why in a minute. push this guy back. Okay, so I did that. I just rewrote. Once I figured out the two numbers, I rewrote it. Instead of negative 13, I wrote 2 negative 15 x. So divide the expression in half using a wall. Two terms here, two terms there. Then I'm going to use GCF factoring on each side, making sure the terms inside the parentheses are the same. Okay, let's just worry about the, the first part of that. The GCF factor. Let's go back to the first, the GCF. Each side, we're going to treat these as two different problems. GCF 
right here, you can break this down into three times two times x times x plus two times x. Or if you're at the point where you can say, oh, I know two x is the GCF, and then what do I have left? I have three x here plus one. Now the only thing that's a little bit different is this third, this term here, this first term and the second set, the third term is negative. You're going, <laughs> excuse me, you're going to always want to factor out the negative. So I'm going to factor out the negative five. And what do I have left? I have the three x plus one. Now I did that those independently here, making sure the terms inside the parentheses are the same. Terms inside the parentheses are the same, so I know I'm on the right track. If those are not the same and you didn't make a mistake and you can't manipulate it like taking the negative out to make it exactly the same, then maybe the strategy won't work. But for now, it should work, um, and it does in this case, as you can see. So then we did this, all right? Factor out the parentheses terms. 3x plus 1, 3x plus 1, that is simply... That's just a factor of each of these terms. This 3x plus 1 is multiplied by 5. This 3x plus 1 is multiplied by 2x. You can kind of see that they're just factors. So I'm going to take the 3x plus 1 out. Take out and cross out if you want to. And then include what's left in another set of parentheses. Over here, I have 2x minus 5. Perfect. So FOIL to check. This is when it's really good to know how to FOIL. So I'm going to, the first is going to be 6x squared minus 15x plus 2x minus 5, and that is 6x squared minus 13x minus 5, and that is the same here, so I'm good. So hopefully, I know it's a lot of steps, and it can get confusing, but just take it step by step by step by step. Let me help you. I'm available. I am bored. I want to help you. Call me because I would love to help you. I'd love to talk to you. So um, seriously, if you need help, this is what I'm here for. And this is what I would love to do is to help you figure out how to go through these steps. But, um, or if you have any questions, you just want to message me. That's fine too. So I hope you guys are doing great. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.